Hey guys, today we are creating The Rock, Dwayne Johnson's appearance in Fortnite Chapter 3, The Foundation. I'm pretty sure this is one of the most craziest, most detailed characters and creations which I have ever done. I start with a little fear but also quite motivated because so many of you asked me to create the foundation, the rock Dwayne Johnson's appearance in Fortnite Chapter 3. We make the left leg a little longer so that both legs are even when looking at 3D models as preparation and as the starting points rarely you have both sides equally long so you have to pay attention to this that legs and arms are equally long and we are mixing the first main color of today's creation which is this dark silver by using black and silver and we start coating the legs. As you probably know, there are different types of this skin in the game. You have the combat style, which I really, really love. It has less colors. It only includes dark silver tones and black. Uh, not even this leather type, which we try to bring in. Then we have the rock skin version with the human face. Well, you know what I think about human faces with clay, at least when I have to create them. I wanted to go with the default, with the regular, the foundation skin. And I also think that most of you will be happy about this choice together with the weapon and also the cloak he is wearing on this image. I, I really love this when the characters are presented in such way. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, well, he's one of my idols. And not only for me, I think for many of you out there, he is a big, big uh, role model as well. Um, when I was planning this video, I wanted to make the title Creating the Foundation and sending it to The Rock himself. Because I really was planning and intended to send it to him. But as it turned out, it's quite too difficult to find out where he is living. Um, would have been probably unexpected and weird if I could have found out where he is living just via internet. And now, quick announcement, we have a new set in the shop. Hey guys, you can create the foundation with the rock set on clayclaim.com. You get all the materials and even the tools optional, the metallic brush marker, all the clay colors, the wool, the wire, clayclaim.com. Go check it out. When I was working on this creation, I wanted to learn more about the rock himself. I listened to an audiobook on Audible and it's a quite fascinating story to learn about The Rock Dwayne Johnson's history, about many many setbacks and his failures he has done throughout his career. Or, well, I should better say throughout his careers. He started as a football player, I didn't knew that then switched over to wrestling, everyone knows that. And today he is one of the best paid actors in Hollywood, doing crazy movies. Let's talk about The Rock's butt for a minute. When you look at the reference image, you see it's quite firm. It's small, but still... <laughs> I, I try, I do my best to sculpt it with clay. For a character with a high level of details, it's quite important that it stays touchable throughout the whole process. And this means putting it into the oven, 
quite early on we have chocolate and Sahara and we mix the leather color which we will use to continue and make some groundwork and also some details you see on the trousers for example and now that the boots are solid after oven hardening this will be the only spot where we can touch the rock the foundation skin and don't screw up and destroy all these tiny beautiful details which we are bringing in right now in this leather optic on the front we have a lot of protectional pieces like these ones on the legs it's silver with a little bit with a hint of black and once it is in position we can also bring in the next layer of elements as i told before i learned a lot about dwayne johnson while listening to the audiobook for example that he played football and not only just for fun but on a professional level he started in college at the university of miami and he even won a national championship in 1991 and well he aspired to a professional career in football um, then went undrafted in the 1995 NFL draft, then signed with Calgary um, in Canada and he was cut from the team in the first season. Uh, yeah, he, he said that he hit rock bottom, one of the most um, depressing areas in his career. And many times when he was depressed, a football coach helped him uh, to come out of this depression and also during this time. And he developed some kind of mantras or mottos which are helpful for him, like, why me? Try me. So when life throws so many bad things at you, not to ask why you, but, well, why we try me. I just love this um, <laughs> and learned a lot. Or the mantra, just bring it, which he really tries to show and to live today as an actor. Um, I learned that he seeked help to get the best professional acting teachers on the planet to become better or to get up at 3 30 in the morning to hit the gym doing some workouts and then being at the set on set for the movies um, as the first person there wow <laughs> well i'm not really sure how healthy it is to sleep that less um, but there are people who just don't need that much of sleep. Uh, it's in their DNA. These are tiny, beautiful pockets <laughs> on this skin. It's very, very Fortnite typical uh, to have these tiny well, pockets all over the body. Um, like the four left tiny ones and the bigger one. And they are attached to this belt. You can get the set on clayclim.com, but I want to notice that it's a very, very difficult creation. So you need a lot of time for this. It's not a beginner's creation um, or you need just a lot of time. I thought I would finish the creation in two, two and a half days but almost needed a week to create it. Uh, you've seen my story that where I apologized <laughs> saying that I need another day. And this was due to the weapon, but also the hat, who took some more time than expected. I mean, look at this tiny pocket. It's crazy, the level of detail which you can find on this character. <sighs> But it's also one of these creations where you are really proud of and like to display it. <coughs> now when working on the back, um, you can see that all the weight is on the wire, which will be the arms later on. 
and this makes it um, very stable to work on, especially when adding all these different elements in different colors. I should mention that the blue parts of the uniform, which you can see right now, will be painted. I thought about going with clay, with the clay solution, but really liked the idea of painting the parts and not being too accurate with it because there are a lot of cracks in the blue parts where you can see the silver part underneath and we will even bring in more damaged, damaged parts with a silver pen to make tiny slices. Now we are halfway through the video the torso is finished, the legs are finished. I really love the chest, how it is presented. <laughs> the arms, the head, the weapon and also the cloak will be ahead of us. For the arms I decided to start with a black ground layer. We have the same stripe pattern underneath, which you can also see right on the belly by now adding different layers for the leather parts, for example, it gets quite authentic. We have the outline, the shoulder protectional parts, and slowly it gets the finished look of the foundation. After The Rock finished his professional football career, he set foot in the family business, which has always been wrestling. His father, I think also his uncle, if I recognize this well, um, did a lot of wrestling and had a wrestling career. And he then asked his father to coach him. I got goosebumps when hearing about the stories, how his father tried to train him and um, spreading the wisdom with him. Today he is seen by many, many, many people as the biggest and greatest wrestler of all time. I don't know too much to have an opinion on this. Um, it made sense to me. He was the first third generation wrestler in the company's history, um, WWF, to this time. For me, fascinating to hear was also that he started as the good guy, but found out that the people didn't really like, like this. So he changed his whole image over a few years. He became the bad guy. Um, it's so fascinating to hear how much thoughts uh, went into this that his father also taught him how to speak with the masses how to motivate them and well how to to do the acting which is required to engage people in in a role he was playing he had this famous fight with hulk hogan and even for me, I remember this fight, although I was never a big wrestling fan or watched a lot, but he was just, well, The Rock. <laughs> he changed his name. He started with Flex Cavana, then Rocky Mavia, and then The Rock. Uh, maybe there were also some further names, which I uh, don't really know. Another interesting fact throughout his whole wrestling career, he earned about 65 million dollars, which is crazy. It's a crazy amount. Throughout the last year, through acting, he almost earned a billion dollars. So, <laughs> this was not his last development step. Um, he didn't stop with wrestling, he pushed further, he became an actor and this is what inspires me so much. That once you have a reputation, you have a name, everyone says that you've made it, 
you don't stop there. It's so, so motivating to hear that it's all about your own goals and ambitions and that you can push further uh, despite of everyone saying, oh, you've made it. You set your own goals, he sets his own goals and it's, ah, it's amazing to hear this. This is the neck. We have these four stripes, these tubes, which will go into this tiny hole for the neck. I think on the reference images I even saw some further pipes and tubes. You, you really can't underestimate this character design, this skin, the foundation skin. At first glance it looks like a regular skin. We have seen a lot of detailed skins. But when we go into detail and have a look and also recreate the whole skin, I now get that this is just genius, how it was created. The helmet, for example. I took probably half an hour to just think about how to start. We have the visor, this black clay part in the middle, and some elements which are sandwiching the visor in the middle. I will also do this with silver clay and paint it blue after oven hardening. Maybe we should take away these parts. At the back side of the head. I have a short game for you, a challenge. Just from your mind. How many movies do you remember where The Rock had an appearance or played the main role? Just think about it for a minute. How many movies can you come up with? I had four. <laughs> I had The Scorpion King, Walking Tall, Fast and Furious franchise. I counted this as one. And then the latest Jumanji, which I haven't seen, but I loved the first one, so I remember that he played role right there. And was he also in the first Mummy movie? Not sure, because Scorpion King was the second, right? So, how many movies do you know where he played? Um, the main role or had an appearance leave this down in the comments I'm, I'm really curious to read this we switched over to red clay because we have some crazy details on the visor for example this was at first I thought I'd paint it onto the visor this was a bad idea because using clay has a way more stronger appearance it's so much brighter than just painted. But in the set, the metallic marker are included. There is also a red pen in the set. You can go, go for it. But I recommend using the Indian red. The character is now finished officially, except for the cloak. But we will focus on the weapon first. With a layer of dark silver, I try to get the shape of the weapon onto the clay and then work with it. Start adding some brighter silver, adding a little red details as well, and then after often hardening, painting all the blue elements with a metallic marker. The weapon somehow reminded me of the weapons in Mario plus rabbits. <laughs> Please don't judge me. I think it's because of the shark teeth in the front. This design. Well, it looks amazing. I, I love it. But it just reminded me of the weapon Mario is holding. <laughs> Let's put this into the oven. <laughs> Freshly baked. The foundation skin. And these are the metallic brush markers. 
We need blue and silver for now. We add some damages to the armor. Just tiny spots with silver. And then we have the first blue elements on the boots. And look at that. The pens are covering the clay perfectly. It creates the illusion that I used blue clay, but I didn't. <laughs> and we can still left out some parts to create the illusion of damages. Oh, this looks so nice. Now the weapon. I forgot the handle. And with some beautiful blue details. The weapon is almost finished. I have an idea to use the wool as this energy ball right in the middle. Maybe we make it quite bright, bright white in the middle and then adding a layer of blue wool to it. The wool is included in the set on clayclaim.com. And now this is the last element of today's creation, the cloak. The mantle. <laughs> A thin layer of black clay and we bring it into shape, maybe adding some wrinkles. And guys, we have the last step ahead of us, assembling all the different parts. The cloak gets a beautiful logo on the back side with a red metallic marker and we can glue it to the back side of the hat. And look at that guys, I guess that's it. The foundation skin in Fortnite. Chapter 3. I hope you enjoyed the video. Short reminder, you can get the rock set on clayclaim.com together with the tools, build your own, the foundation character alongside this video. Have an amazing weekend. Stay safe, stay creative. Bye. This was not a camera. This was not a camera. Oh, my camera. Just kidding. It's from my noodle machine just fell off. <clears throat>